Hello again, everybody. This is GearWire.com's series of educational screencasts on how to work with drum samples in the Audio Mulch application. Audio Mulch is a good example of a philosophy that uh, has been floating around out there uh, for a while, and that philosophy is Tim Toady. What does Tim Toady mean? Well, Tim Toady is just an uh, acronym for the first letters of every word in this phrase. There's more than one way to do it like WYSIWYG is what you see is what you get. Tim Toady is there's more than one way to do it. And Audio Mulch is a real Tim Toady application. We've got a bunch of drum samples that I recorded myself a little while ago. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, sort of dive into the pile of samples and I'm going to use Audio Mulch as the tool that is going to build my loop. And I'm actually going to do more than one loop. I'm going to use uh, Audio Mulch's uh, preset capabilities to flip through different loops. And, uh, you know, I don't really have a super clear idea of how this is going to turn out, but I do know that the drum samples are basically pretty good. And uh, so any trouble we get into is largely going to be my fault and not the fault of the samples. So uh, let's see what we can do and let's see what Audio Mulch, how Audio Mulch changes the way we think about uh, how we work with samples. What we've got here is a blank uh, session, uh, or a blank patch, if you will. Um, blank meaning uh, that there's only the sound out uh, contraption sitting here, which is uh, normal. Uh, you got to get to the sound card somehow. And uh, speaking of which, let's monitor here. What we're going to end up doing is insert a st uh, stereo mixer into the audio mulch patch. And let's do that right now. And we simply right click into the field and select uh, mixers, and we get a stereo 8, an 8 channel, 8 stereo channel mixer. Let's uh, right away connect the outputs to sound out. And in order to begin working with our uh, drum samples, which were recorded kind of wild, and uh, there are, they have varying degrees of uh, truncation in them, some of them are clipped. Uh, that's on purpose. Some of them aren't clipped. Uh, some of them are multiple hits. Uh, one thing that I like to do in audio mulch is I like to give uh, different contraptions uh, slightly different jobs and then put together a multiple contraption, a mix of contraptions uh, together as uh, the component parts of a, a larger drum piece. So the contraptions that I want to use here, I'm going to start with uh, a signal generator called good old loop player. And there's Loop Player with its stereo outputs. Double click on Loop Player and you'll see its main interface there. Let's get the connections out of the way and hook up its outputs. And actually we're going to get uh, two more of these. No. Having a hard time this morning. There we go. Okay, now if we double click on the mixer, we can see, we'll move over here, bring up the master, and we'll also bring up the individual channels to sort of respectable height here. And then let's tell the loop players what loops they are supposed to be playing. And we simply navigate for that. Um, first one that we'll pick, let's see, we're going to put a uh, tom roll in there. So let's see here. Four toms. Which one was it? It was four strokes, yeah. All right, now we're going to hit play and just audition that real quick. <laughs> 